Hey guys, it's Ellie Cross and welcome back to Tales of Exilia 2. So, last time we finished up all the character quests, as you can see. I'm just making sure just in case. Uh, you never know. Um, <laughs> I could have easily missed something there. Uh, but yeah, so I have a slight confession to make. Uh, you know how I said we had the money and we can start right away? Well, I bought equipment and as you can see we have like no money left. Um... Ludger is really the only one who I didn't change anything that much, but Jude's got himself. I crafted this actually, so. But so I updated equipment, so most people have new armor. Not everybody does, but most people do. It's just because I didn't want to spend all of my money. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry. Um, we will start off right away. Look at that. That's so nice looking. I wish I could. I'm just gonna show you. Like, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Um, she finally got herself a new staff, like, after so long. But anyway, I did go off screen, and a few people got levels. Like, everybody got, like, one level or something. I don't know. I wasn't paying that much attention to it. But I did do some off screen stuff here, and I can turn in all of these quests. And if I still don't have enough, I'll just skip to finding an elite monster. Or do a few more um, and do that. So hopefully this gives us enough money to start the story mode. But... Okay. Is that... Is that... That's not enough. Alright, that is that is nowhere near enough. So let's see if there's anything else to do. If not, then I'll just have to go. I still haven't gotten the mob curry. I've just been too lazy to go find and buy it. I'd go get the cats, but... I was gonna yawn because again I do these when I wake up. Um, they do not give a lot of money. I can't do that one, sadly. I'm trying to look for ones that give me a lot of money, but these ones aren't really giving me a lot of money. There's still a grasshopper. There's. I'd have to go to that mine, but um, they do give me a lot, so I think I might. I think I might uh, go to the old Vic or the Flagana mine here and get these taken care of. Uh, that is the one I unlocked, right? I'm yeah. No, it's not. It's the other mine. God damn it! I'll just have to go there myself then. I think. I think. I don't fucking know. <laughs> That is not, uh, I have to go in the library, events, underway, Flagana mine, yeah. Okay, we'll just like, go unlock the Flagana mine here. It's no biggie. It's had to do it eventually. But I'll probably cut out till when I get them all taken care of so we can start straight away on the story. So I will see you guys when I am done doing, uh, well, gaining more money. For once, I found a kitty. Alright guys, so, um, to be perfectly honest, I got two of the jobs done. The third one, I only ran into that enemy once throughout this entire mine shaft. And, um, so apparently they really don't spawn that much. Which sucks. Look at this, it can go in the little hole. Um... So what I'm thinking about doing is taking on the elite monster here, getting rid of that money. We did pick up a few money in chests along the way. So I think once we turn in the two things and this elite monster will have plenty of money and I'll just have to get rid of the third quest. Because yeah, I only ran into that thing once. The whole mine is basically full of bats. So it was hard enough finding the other two. <laughs> so this thing doesn't have a lot of HP or it shouldn't have a lot of HP. Because obviously it's been here a while. So. I also realized that we did have two new arts. Which are pretty neato. That one. And. Oh, okay well. I also need to get more TP too. That's the thing. And thousand swords. So I didn't take out anything. Don't worry. It's um. There's more slots you can use for it. It's just. Uh, more difficult to do. God damn it. Um, cause you just have to do like these, you have to hold down L1 and then you either put them on the right or the left trigger. Okay. 
Now let's get back, back some TP. It resists. So I'm guessing I'm doing strong attacks for whatever reason. I mean, strong attacks. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say there. Uh, <laughs> seems like I am doing earth attacks. There we go. Let me take out this thing. There you are again. I'm probably just cut now to when I beat it because I don't want to spend too much time uh, fighting. So yeah. All right, guys. So I defeated the elite monster there. Um, I accidentally used the Mystic Art. This is the sort of place. Cause you know, I don't know. I accidentally used a Mystic Art. <laughs> My overlimits was out, but I did a Mystic Art. Uh, I'm gonna abandon that. Yeah, that thing I only found one of, so really weird. But we should have enough money now, right? Yeah, we have enough money. I'm surprised Nova didn't call. Cause I mean, there she is. <laughs> hey. I got you, Nova. I got you. For once, I will pay everything. Whoops, that's a four. There you go, Nova. I haven't been any help to you at all. It's fine, Nova. You've just been bugging me to get money. We've completed preparations in accordance with directions from President Bakor. Please make your way to the Spurious offices with all due haste. I'll be waiting for you. So be it. All right, events list has updated. So this video is probably only like 10 minutes now or something. I don't know. It's 17 minutes currently with recording, but um, you know, I got stuff I gotta do. I also want to change the party up. I don't know. I mean, I still have. I'm making Muse into a good healer, man. I'm making her into a good healer. She does what she needs to do. So. Well, actually, maybe I don't want Mila. Maybe. Not. Dude, stop it. Maybe I want to put Elise in there, because Elise. Nah. Rowan, perhaps? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go talk to uh, Vera. I almost called her Nova, just because they're sisters doesn't mean they have the same name. Let's proceed through the main story, shall we? Chapter 14, the mission complete. We're almost done, guys. Welcome back. Hold your horses. Only authorized personnel pass this point. You'll come with me? Of course. We didn't come here just to sit in the lobby. Very well. If that's Vice President Kresnik's decision, I will abide by it. Huh? Luger's been made Vice President of Spirius? Correct. His promotion is effective immediately. <sighs> you may use the CEO's office as you see fit until he returns from his departure. This way. Promoting Luger to Vice President out of the blue. They're up to something. Aw, oh, affinities increase. Huh? Before we jump to any conclusions, let's go get the whole story. I've had the opportunity to meet scores of humans, but there's something very different about you. I deeply enjoy speaking with you. I don't know what it is about you that makes me feel that way. But that's not why I've troubled you today. I want you to have this. Humans impart meaning into objects, do they not? My intention with this is to express the gratitude that I feel for you every day. It's not just from me. This is a symbol of her gratitude as well. I know that she would have wanted you to have this. Please use it wisely. Salt and Dancer art. Um, thank you, Mila. I was kind of hoping Jude would, you know, because it's so close. But nope. <laughs> The CEO has left you a message. Luger, if you're watching this, know that I intend to travel to the land of Canaan and put an end to Origin's trial. 
This'll be interesting. But not before I tell you the full story. You see, it was all a game. The Fractured Dimensions, Canaan, all of it. Just a giant game. Created by the primordial spirits. Kronos, Maxwell, and Origin. That's right. And they've been playing it ever since humanity figured out Spyrix two millennia ago. The three spirits disagreed over whether humans could truly control Spyrix technology or not. So they devised an experiment to reveal mankind's true nature. They wanted to see for themselves if human beings were capable of resisting the temptation of ultimate power. This was before the schism, you see. Back in the old days when Maxwell still trusted humans. So the Chromatis was a test. Kronos granted the Chromatis to the Kresnik family as a means to measure how well humans can suppress their base desires. If someone reaches the Great Spirit origin before a million divergence catalysts appear, mankind passes the test. If no one does, then mankind fails and the spirits leave. That was their pact. <laughs> but here's the catch. The game was rigged right from the very start. As was passed down, Origin will grant the wish of the first human who comes before him. No human could resist such a prize. It fostered greed amongst the people. As a result, the Kresniks were constantly at war over it. Thanks to all of their bickering, catalysts and fractured dimensions have multiplied like rats. A vast number of people across all the dimensions transformed into catalysts, and as a result, were destroyed. It's likely now that their number is approaching one million. The Spirius Corporation was established to put the brakes on this whole disaster. I haven't forgotten the reward I promised. You no longer have to worry about that pesky loan. Now, just leave the rest to me. I will create the world that your generation deserves. Hey, Luger! You're not gonna believe what just happened! The bank president stopped by just now, and guess what? He said that I don't need to bug you about your loan anymore! What? How'd you manage to pull that off? Wait, you're not blackmailing anybody, are you? You verified the reward. Bakor left for the land of Canaan, correct? Yes. He promised to tell us how to get inside. I wasn't informed. All right, if that's how you want to play it, then let me ask you this. How does he plan to make it past Kronos? The Chromatis came from Kronos. Bakor wouldn't be able to use it against him. I don't know. What happened to Elle? Excuse me, I'm running late for a meeting. You know, I'll bet you that the CEO is planning to use Elle to kill Kronos. Uh, Director Rideau! I believe our guest's business has concluded here. D we're not finished here! Right now that we're all alone, we have to find our company. Have a walk around, or we have a rock walk around the company. That works too. I want to find my company as well, but there's not really much. <sighs> yeah, I was raised to be more sheltered, bitch. <laughs> um... There's just one note that, um, 20 years ago. Aha. Uh -huh. Getting all this info. That's because I'm the best agent. And that's because he's a jerk. Down to a lower level. Alright, I guess I have to go find Rodeau and I have to actually use the proper elevator. Uh, let's check the first floor. Probably the first floor. When they go down one, it's probably the first floor. 
but I don't see I don't see him gosh darn it gosh darn it seems so everyone's all gathered here hello there's apparently an herb there I've never noticed okay let's go up to a higher floor then Chapter 10. Chapter 10. What the fuck did I just say? Uh, looks like they're not on this floor either. That looks so weird on the map. 20. Not chapter, but floor. Are you guys here maybe? No? 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 Okay. Okay, fine. Be that way. Guess it was 30. I should have gone there first. I don't remember what floor this is all on. Forgive me for my silly comments back there. How might I help the new vice president? Finish what you were saying before. Hmm? What I was saying before? L was the true key of Kresnik. Origin's power flows through the key. One only comes along every few generations, and the key is the trump card in the trial. As you can imagine, he or she is always at the center of Kresnik's family feuds. The most recent key was the CEO's wife till she was killed. Not that you have any relation to that one. What do you mean? I mean exactly what I said. Don't tell me you're ignorant of your own family history. Some vice president you are. <sighs> to make a long story short, the only way to reach Origin is to defeat Kronos. And the only thing that will defeat Kronos is the power of the Void, which is wielded by the Key of Kresnik. Of course, the power needed to beat Kronos would immediately transform the key into a divergence catalyst, and that's the rub. Oh, please. Don't try to act so high and mighty. You had no qualms at all about using the girl's power willy-nilly. <coughs> more details from Rideau. He was only supposed to keep you occupied. I'm sorry for tricking you, but please understand. This sacrifice is necessary to make a world purely for humans. A world purely for humans? Yes, you heard correctly. When I finally fulfill Origin's trial, I will wish for all spirits to surrender their will. They will become mankind's loyal tools. What? But do not worry. Their first task will be to eliminate all fractured dimensions. <laughs> Give me that. Luger, it's me. Hell? I'm gonna fix it all so you don't have to do scary stuff anymore. I'll use my wish to make sure nobody ever has to disappear again. Mr. Bakor says that only I have the power to do that. So don't come after us, okay? I'm fine, really. I know I broke our promise, so I'm sorry. Forgive me. Elle! I'm sorry. The GHS you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please try again. Nothing to do now but leave things to the CEO, I suppose. If we go charging in, he'll just use us, just like he's going to use L. Shut up! All right, now we get to enjoy more walking around the company. Uh... I want to quickly check something on the 40th floor. Yeah, okay. Apparently I found a cat in there. I don't remember that. Let's go to the first floor. 
just watch it on the 20th floor. Um, <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Got it, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. If you continue to resist, I'll call security. We're not going anywhere until we hear the rest of the story. Luger. Did you find out anything? <laughs> Turning spirits into tools. So that was Bakura's plan all along. And to think he'd use a little girl like Elle. Not if we can help it. Let's get to Kanan. How do we get inside? We must find Julius. He will know how. We better hurry. Right behind you. Hold on. The vice president is not to leave the premises. CEO's orders. Wait. Huh? Mila? Luger, you know better than anyone just how fragile this world really is. No one would blame you for turning back and enjoying the life you've made for yourself. You seem determined. And yet, appearances can be deceiving. I'll judge your conviction myself. <laughs> Are you two really okay with this? Jude, please do not interfere. Now I will say this, if you chose the dot 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 dot, you will be fighting Jude instead of Mila. I mainly chose Mila because of, um, I mean, well, I know why well, I need TP badly, uh, because Mila is a fun fight, for one, and god, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Now I'm on fire, Mila, look what you did. Now I'm on fire. Okay, just let me talk, Mila, please. Do, 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 do. I like this music, though. Um, and two, it gives a challenge to something else in the future by doing it this way. I know the different choice because my friend chose a different choice while she was playing this game. Ow, really? You jerk. Oh boy, I can't link now. That's, that's a shame. You know, I can't dodge you, right? Oh, or not. Or I can't. I need to heal. I'm not falling for that trick again, Mila. How much HP do you have anyway? You don't somehow absorb anything. Okay. There goes my TP. I think I'm going to give myself some TP again. Woo doo doo. Stop using your great spirits on me, Mila. It's not fair. I can't use great spirits. Okay. Oh yeah, I gave her the skill that allows her to do that. That's right. I know it's cheap healing, but I'd rather not lose. So there's that. Ow. Why do you do this to me, Mila? No. Don't worry, bro. I got you. And hopefully I can buy items later, too. Well, I know I can later, but... There goes all my TP again. Oh, I just realized I need more HP again. <laughs> Yay for actually having items. Come on, Mila. Oh, I hate 1v1 fights, but it's also kind of cool that you get to do this. I'll admit that. How come you're faster, huh? Huh? 
probably going to use Undine after that. Sorry if I'm like not talking that much. I'm trying to focus. I really should give myself more TP. So I'm going to get. I don't want to waste that pineapple gel, although I can't always buy more, is the thing. Ouch. Oh boy, I can't link again. That's a shame, isn't it? Well, okay. Well, that's gonna kill me. Surprise! <laughs> Also, I'm sorry if I talked over Mila's little special thing, because she says something different for that mystic art. At least she gave me a lot of EXP. Thank you, Mila. It appears that you are still fully capable of using your chromatis. <laughs> That can only mean that L is calling out to you. Please forgive me for playing rough with you. I needed to be certain of your resolve. The trial waiting at Canaan will be far more difficult than we can imagine. If you come with us, then it's entirely possible that you may lose everything that you've worked for. I'll lose something more important if I don't. Then trust me when I say I will do everything to help you protect it. Just the same as Jude and our friends once did for me a year ago. Good, it's settled. Let's go. <laughs> Had to have the last word, huh? Not a step further, Vice President Kresnik. I know it sounds cliche and all, but orders are orders. Move, Ivor. I don't have time for your games. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot do that, Lady Mila. <laughs> I never realized bossy girls were such a turn-on. So cold, so ruthless, so... <sighs> what a creep. Need assistance? Hope you don't mind. Well, well, well. The royal pain has come to hold court. But my head will roll if I don't stop Luger from leaving. And I happen to like my head. You think your corporate cronies can stop us? They dispelled my arts! How is that possible? It's the Lance of Kresnik. A portable version, sure, but as you can see, it gets the job done. This will be fun. I wonder if Lord Maxwell will moan as I suck the mana out of her. Don't speak to her like that! And how dare you speak to your boss like that? <laughs> You'd risk your life to save this sniveling coward? You really are a benevolent deity. He's still my handmaid. I don't recall ever dismissing him from the position. Lady Mila, 
Such a stubborn and proud spirit. But not for much longer. Any ideas, Luger? You'll be tested here, in the underground training area. These caverns stretch all the way to Triglef city limits. You could head straight out of town from here. There should be an exit from the underground training grounds. Get to that elevator. That's easier said than done. We'll need bait. You can show everyone else the way. You're up, Jude. Leave it to me. Don't die. Not here, I won't. It's clearly a diversion. Look out! Go on ahead. Don't let them get away. Jude can handle himself. We need to stay focused on the escape. Yeah. So, you are able to manifest your Chromatis again. That's El's power, isn't it? Yeah. I see. So this is the key of Kresnik. The power of the Void that El commands. The power of Origin can transcend time and space to reach you. That's the kind of power we need to resist Kronos. But Luger, if you use your Chromatis, won't it hasten El's transformation into a catalyst? I know that it will, but if we don't hurry, El will be in even greater danger. But wouldn't you be gambling with El's life? Power is a double-edged sword, and only a warrior who understands that has any business wielding it. Luger, are you prepared to accept the consequences of wielding your power? Very well. Are you sure about this? I too am prepared to do what must be done. Muse, I would ask the same of you. The harder that you and I fight, the less Luger will have to use his Chromatis. <laughs> Understood. You can count on me. We must hurry, Luger. You can thank us when the battle is won. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Obviously, if I chose to have Mila go, then we would have Jude. We'd have Jude in the party. Um, this is also why I made Muse the main, like a main healer is because of this fight here. Um, obviously that means I would have two if I had Jude, but I think if I fought Jude in the first place instead of Mila, that Mila would probably step up and be like, hey, I might want to, might want to be then, but I don't know since I've never done that before. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. I have no clue how long it is. Um, or if I might end up splitting it up into a little bit. I just don't want to finish it right now, but I will be cutting out a lot of stuff, so it might be a little bit longer or normal length. Who knows? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!